Hello everyone. What we've got here is a PILS Safety Relay X2.1. I'm going to use it in application with e-stop button. This safety relay has got two safety inputs S11, S12 and S21, S22. Two safety outputs Start circuit S32, S33, which is used either for manual or automatic start. And three LEDs for status indication. Okay, let's start with the simplest things. Terminals A1 and A2 are used to connect power supply. When we turn the supply on, the LED should light up. Now it's time to start connecting safety inputs. As you can see in the manual, we've got two options. We're going to use option number two, which is dual channel operational mode. The e-stop button is equipped with two normally closed contacts. One contact is connected between terminals S11 and S12. The second contact is connected to terminals S21 and S22. According to the manual, we can wire this relay to automatic or manual start. For safety reasons, we do not use auto start with e-stop button. We will wire the relay in manual start. So for that, we need one normally open contact between S33 and S34. Now, every time you want to start the machine, you must first release e-stop button and then press start button to activate safety relay.
Most of the times we add extra contacts from external contactors as a feedback. One normally close contact from each contactor is wired in series with the start button, as shown in the picture. Both contactor coils are wired in parallel and connected to one safety output. So this is how it works. When we turn on the power, the LED is on. e stop push button is not operated and both NC contacts are closed. The status indicators for channel 1 and channel 2 are not on. To activate safety relay, it is necessary to press start circuit then contacts S33 and 34 become closed for a moment. If everything is ok, two LEDs, channel 1 and channel 2, will light up. Safety outputs are closed, energizing external contactors. What is going to happen when we press the E-stop? When the E-stop is operated, both normally closed contacts will become open, so safety inputs will become open as well. The LED for channel 1 and channel 2 will turn off and the safety outputs will become open. To restart the safety relay, release the e-stop and press the manual start button. That's about it. Check out my other videos on the channel for more great content. And if you enjoyed this video, just hit the like button and subscribe.